Tom here today with Justine Good, former owner of MSP Photography. Good morning, Justine. Morning, Tony. Justine, you and I were involved in the sale of your business last year. Uh, yes, MSP Photography. And a process that took us probably around nine months. That's correct, yes. So, Justine, there'd be many franchisors listening to our interview now, uh, wondering what they can do, or what's the best thing they can do about preparing their business for sale. Well, being part, being a franchisor, they're, they're actually buying a system, so making sure their systems are well in place, I mean, that's going to add the most value, I think, to um, a potential um, buyer. Um, your, your procedure manuals... Um, making sure you've got all your key staff in place and that your franchisees are reasonably happy. Yeah, I saw your systems, your manuals. I've got to say in all my years in business broking, franchising, whatever, I've never seen better operations manuals, not just the extent of them but the illustration, the easy-to-read nature of all the instructions and so I understand exactly what you're saying. I talk systems all the time, but uh, yours were fantastic. Yeah, I, I prepared them so that it, anybody should be able to pick them up and with very little knowledge of the business, be able to prepare a portion of our our product that they needed to, to prepare. And you also said about happy franchisees. Is that something that's always in your mind um, on the way to a sale? Do you think, you know, if, if, if my franchisees are happy, then the buyer's going to be happy with what, what we sell them? I think that you should always make sure that they're happy. I mean, without them, you haven't really got a business that's worth selling because we're, during the process of a sale, the purchaser will talk to the franchisees. So they need to be happy. They need to be content in what they're doing. Um I mean, you're always going to get some that are a bit disillusioned, but, I mean, that's just could be the nature of just being in business. But, yeah, making sure that they're happy, they're following the procedures. It's all very well to have procedures, but if they're not following them, then they need to be um, brought back into line or find out why they're not following them and maybe the procedures have to be adjusted. Another part of happiness, I suppose, is that your franchisees were able to sell their businesses for good money along the way. I think that's also, is that also an important feature of a good franchise or business? I think so, yes. Yes. They've, they've all been, well, quite a few of them have sold and they've been able to get good money, so... Mm. My company, BCI Business Brokers, acted uh, for you right from the beginning uh, and even we met many years before you put your business on the market, but, but focusing on when we became involved in 2012 in the sale process... What was the most important role that we were able to play for you? Well, before even answering that question, Tony, we took it very important to find a correct business broker. If you've worked in the... uh, We've had our business for 21 years, so we wanted to make sure that we had the right company that was going to represent us. So we actually went through a bit of an interview process. We interviewed a couple of other business brokers before um, engaging with BCI. And uh, we met um, Phil, and he was very professional, very very genuine. Didn't um, I suppose promise over promise before actually looking at all of our financials. Took them away, analysed them, and then came them back came back with a a proper detailed response. And from that point, we felt that we were dealing with a professional business. I'm going to go through each of the stages of the business sale towards the end of the interview. When you spoke about Phil, um, that's one of our BCI business brokers, Phil Lyons. We actually, Phil and myself, were involved in the transaction all the way through, which might be unusual uh, for a business sale where both brokers are involved. How did you find that part of the process? Um, I enjoyed the the process. It was good to have um, two brokers working together Uh, apart from the extra exposure I think you both have um, talent in in um, different ways and you work really well as a team so I felt that I had a team working for us there was uh, Phil and yourself and you both worked well together and provided us with all the the support along the way that we needed any questions that were answered if I couldn't get hold of Phil I could speak to you Tony so I just felt that 
um, yeah, we were being guided and helped the whole way. I even let him go away on three weeks holiday just before the before the exchange. Actually, I don't know how that happened, but uh, yes, <laughs> that worked in well. And what would you say to others listening to this now who might be thinking about using BCI as a business broker for a major sale? I I'd, I'd really recommend it. I mean, you you've got a fantastic team um, behind you. You uh, put together a a very comprehensive um, information memorandum that went out to all of the prospective um, uh, buyers. And I think that you were able to um, get in touch with a lot of potential buyers uh, that I guess that I didn't even know were available Mm. when we were going to um, put our business on the market. We had no idea who would be likely to uh, buy it. Um, at, we were running it as a husband-wife business, had been so since for 21 years, but we needed somebody to take that business further for us, but we didn't know who was going to, capable of doing it, and um, BCI was able to locate the correct buyer for us. Yes, we ended up coming up with a professional buyer, if you like, uh, made up of a consortium of investors, and they were dealing basically with, as you say, a husband and wife team. So we had to make sure, I suppose, on our side of the transaction that we were up to it, because the buyers were um, were certainly were certainly up to the task, weren't they? So your whole team, your solicitor team, your accountancy team, and broking team had to be uh, up to the task. Yes, exactly. So I'm with Justine Gooden. We're just talking about uh, the transaction uh, where their business was sold uh, in 2012 with BCI Business Brokers acting as the agent. It was, uh, as we've said, a long process, nine months. It was a testing process. Um, What lessons uh, can be learnt from each stage of the sale, uh, the transaction that you went through? Firstly, the preparation of the information. I think that's very important. That's the beginning of the sale process. So you've got to get out of your head all of the important parts of your business, the history or with the franchisees, all about the franchisees, the statistics. Um, BCI guided me through that process, gave me a list of questions, um, re- information that I had to supply to them. So that part for me was um, easy because I had all that information. I had actually prepared a 20-year history book of the business, so I had a lot of that information. But I think it's important to provide it quickly. If there's a big time lag between when BCI asks for the information and you provide it back, you're just going to then delay the process even longer. So prior to, I think, selling or thinking about selling your business, try and gather some of that information together. Think about the history, how you started, um, the benefits, what, where, you, where do you think the business might go in the future? Because that should go into the um, information memorandum. Um, pictures, if you've got pictures of around the your business that, that you think would sell your business well, hand those all over because that is what's going to tempt the buyers. So what you're saying, Justine, is um, right here and now, whether someone's on the market or not, they should start writing and building their case. Exactly, yes. And thinking about how they would like their business to be projected. I mean, BCI is going to put that forward, but you're the best person to know how to really project your business. You should know it in and inside and out. So think about all the positives and, and potential growth because that's another area where that's what a buyer is looking for too. Okay, they can buy it now, but where do you want it to see it? What's, what is your vision? It may not align with their vision, but at least you have one and sell it to them. Thank you. Now the marketing phase. The marketing phase, uh, well, you guys really covered that. I think the the IM was part of the marketing phase um, and then the ads in, in the paper, we p- uh, placed a few ads in the paper. Yeah, the ads in the financial review were quite helpful in, yeah, in, they in rounding pulled, up a few more buyers, yeah, weren't they? Yeah, they? they pulled a few people out, but I think it was, from a marketing point, point of view, I think it was your connections um, within the potential market that, that got people interested and we didn't have to really say one thing in that document that wasn't true we could really just base it basically on fact yes exactly that was the best part i mean you you've you've got to base it on fact because otherwise you're going to be exposed pretty quickly and the negotiation stage the final stage the wrap up the exchange of contracts settlement what what was that like well what i'd say with that one is you want to make sure that your team um that you put together your 
you include your broker, your um, accountant, your solicitor, matches your potential buyer's team. So you make sure you've got all your um, professional people behind you ready to work for you with the other team. So I'm here with Justine Good, former owner of MSP Photography, talking about the sale of uh, Justine and her husband David's business. Justine, is there anything you'd like to add to what you've told us so far? Yes, Tony, as a final comment, um, the, like we said, the process was uh, long, nine months, but having worked with you and uh, Phil Lyons, um, the process was sometimes stressful, but during it we had a lot of good times, a lot of laughs, we enjoyed what we did, and I want to thank you for your professionalism and guidance through the process, and I would recommend BCI to anybody looking to sell their business. That'd be a great way to end, but I'm going to turn it back on you and I'm going to say that um, of all the businesses, and I said this to Phil right throughout the process, of all the businesses and the business owners I've ever dealt with, you had prepared your business for sale better than anybody that I know. So if there's a message to come out of this um, interview, it's to start preparing now, keep preparing, keep improving, and make sure that when you go to the market, you're ahead of the market. And that's exactly what uh, Justin and David Good were in the sale of MSP Photography. So thanks for your time today, Justine. And again, uh, great to work with you. Yeah, thanks, Tony. Same.